what's up everybody warlock here welcome back to the channel guys today we're back with the apex legends video also my official return to apex legends which we're going to get into here in just a second but i wanted to go over a few of the things that are brand new to the game that i've paid attention to over the last like month and a half okay first and foremost is in the store we got the new always event we just dropped that trailer yesterday so if you guys have not seen my reaction video to that please go check it out uh so we have the heirloom section okay the heirloom shop they've introduced the heirloom shards which are pretty cool i guess and so every time you open an apex pack you have a chance to you know a chance to award a bonus heirloom shard pack which i'm assuming is enough to unlock one of these plus we have the new butterfly knife which is octane's um heirloom melee weapon with the uh the green ooze inside it which i think is pretty cool that one in the box and gloves are the only ones that i'm missing so i'm very excited about that oh. excuse me guys sorry the other thing is the evo armor so when you pick up the evo armor you start off with it at the level one level or the white level each time you do damage to someone you know as long as they're not down you're dealing damage to them it's going to upgrade it the, the only thing that's kind of the negative is that it stays at the one bar so when you upgrade it all the way through purple onto what would now be red which has five bars you have to use shield cells shield batteries etc to put it at its max i think this is probably one of the most creative and coolest things that they've introduced into apex legends and i you know i can't wait to really try it out so that'll be really cool um the other thing is the uh under the plate now okay we have duos we have trios and then we have a timer on the map to play on okay first thing duos this mode has been the most popular ltm that they've introduced since season three it's been the most played especially when they do like over the christmas time they had seven days of events where every two days it changed this was the most played and most sought after ltm that they've ever released and this is probably the biggest one that the community wanted so i'm glad this one's here officially now it shouldn't be going away and then of course we have trios solos no quads no please don't ever respawn ea please do not introduce those we don't need them duos trios perfect man this is great third thing the play apex map changes so right now we're in the middle of the split so ranks have reset we'll get to that in a second uh but now we have a timer so during this timer anytime you that you play apex legends you're gonna have world's edge king's canyon it flips back and forth i think this is something that's really cool um you know if you and your friends only want to play world's edge or king's canyon you can play for that timer and once it switches then you can stop playing come back to it later uh you know and it does mix it up i don't think world's edge is completely a trash map it's not the best but it just doesn't touch king's canyon king's canyon is the best map uh you know and they've only made two with some of the changes but i just think if they gave us king's canyon or better yet if they gave us a blend of the two maps and just made us one map i think that would be great so uh but in the meantime the switch back and forth i think is kind of cool um other than that those are the pretty much the main changes other than that in the patch notes and everything that i've read there's been small changes to weapons legends um in particular revenant which i have on the screen now uh he wasn't received very negatively from the community he just doesn't do anything his uh his abilities are very subpar he just doesn't uh you know compete like some of the other legends do and i think that's just part of his design man his story he looks awesome his story was amazing and he just uh, he was like crypto when crypto first came in crypto was awesome new abilities we checked them all out but in the end he just fell to the bottom of the list we'll have a tier list video for season four coming out soon guys but revenant i mean i hope they give him some good buffs man I would like to see Revenant used more, but he's just not. But that's all I got to say about Revenant. So now on to the biggest thing, guys, is over the last month or two, we've been away from Apex, and this is the reason why, okay? Apex Legends became not fun for me to play. I've been playing this game since release. It has been the most, one of the most unique, and when it comes to movement, the best Battle Royale, in my opinion, 
that has been out. I've had the most fun with it. Uh, from the legends, how the game looks, to just the guns, the skins, everything that they've changed in and out. Some of the events have been amazing. But I just wasn't having fun. Um, all that stopped after we were playing in the ALGL, ALGS. We competed competitively on the PS4 circuit and had a lot of success. We made the switch to PC once the ALGS was announced. Um, me and my team did well in the ALGS qualifiers. We didn't make it to the lands, but the mental stress and physical stress that I had on the game was just too much considering I worked a full-time job and then I come home, play Apex, so I went to bed, rinse and repeat, guys. So in all, in all that, while that, trying to make YouTube videos for you guys and... I guess I was just overwhelmed because trying to do both create, you know, content create and be committed to the competitive side of Apex Legends was pulling me in two different directions. Uh, but on top of that, the fact that we just kept switching teammates, I didn't have a solid team. You know, we could not compete every night and work on strategies, put time into the game, work out what legends we need to use, all these things that you see some of the pros, you know, NRG, TSM, all these teams do. Like, we just didn't do that. None of our schedules worked up correctly. It was just bad from the get-go. So all those things that bundled into one just made the game unfun. And I know you guys saw it on stream, and I know you guys didn't enjoy that. So, and for me, as much as I love Apex Legends, I just could not play the game anymore. So for the past few months, or a month and a half-ish month, we were playing Tarkov, Escape from Tarkov, which has been great. We've been playing Final Fantasy VII, kind of like a huge palate cleanse to Apex Legends. But now we're back. So uh, with that said, we're going to be playing on PS4. Uh, we won't be playing on PC anymore. I made the switch to PC, and nothing against PC. All my friends that I still have that I can play with on PS4 or on PS4, all my unlocks, all my heirlooms, all my skins are all on PS4. If they would do it like Fortnite and just have everything across your account to Origin, then I'd probably still just play PC because the game looks better, it runs better, more frames, and it's just a better overall experience. But I have a lot of fun on PS4. So we're going to be back on PS4. We're going to be playing for just fun. Uh, we'll be doing all the Play Apex stuff. We'll be checking out all the events. I'll have more of those um tutorial videos for you guys and educational videos to help improve your game uh when it comes to ranked uh i may not be playing a lot to be honest unless i have a three stack um i could probably play you know in the early ones probably all the way through platinum but once you hit diamond you have to have a three stack and you have to have that chemistry so and since you know all this splitting of the ranks and since last season the rank lobbies are pretty sweaty, even all the way down in gold, uh, even silver and bronze. So not that I care about that, but uh, we may play very limited ranked. Otherwise, it's going to be all play, you know, play Apex, which I think will be a lot of fun, guys. So that's where I've been at for the last month, but we are back. I'm ready to play this game again. I've played a little bit offline, uh, which I think is pretty cool. I've been in the firing range, tuning up my skills, uh, and I'm happy to be back. It's been good. We recently just moved, so with the coronavirus going on, I hope everybody's being safe. Uh, just a lot of things have been happening, but now we're at a place to really push out that content for you guys, so I'm happy to be back. Uh, I want to have a big shout out and thank you to all of you who have subscribed and supported the channel. Um, we have we have, we have have had a huge come up when we first started making like good Apex Legends videos, and I want to keep that going, so hopefully... Um, we can continue to do that and i want to say thank you guys for uh supporting the channel i really do appreciate it uh but with that said man that's gonna do it for the video guys that's where i've been that's what we're gonna be doing moving forward so thank you um as always if you like this drop the thumbs up it really helps out the channel if you're new hit that subscribe button turn the notification bells uh so you don't miss out on the future apex legends content and as for me warlug as always, guys, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.
Come 